guys if you guys are new here my name is Jess it is September 9th happy Friday guys and I just wanted to come on here and vlog I kind of miss vlogging and just being on here I love vlogging and I don't know what happened but I'm still currently waiting for this collaboration but I don't even know if it's gonna go up anytime soon but anyway today is pre-order day for the iPhone 14s and as you guys know I upgrade because you guys ask me what are the specs and everything and then I I also show you guys a comparison i will film on the last year's version versus this year's version so if you guys want to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell and i will do those videos for you guys and i love doing that i get so excited especially when like the iphones come out i like to see the new things that come out i know it's not much of an upgrade but i love showing you guys because you guys ask about it and i love answering you guys questions i did a poll yesterday i asked you guys what color i should unbox box and you guys chose gold and it won by a few percentage so i'm guessing it just won by like a vote and then when i checked again after i pre-ordered the phone at 5 a.m because i woke up at 4 45 that's the time that i set an alarm i set another alarm at 4 50 just in case i checked it when i woke up the second time to take giselle to school and it was tied between the deep purple and the gold so i was like well i already pre-ordered the gold so <laughs> poll is over and if you guys want to participate in more polls, follow me on my Instagram and also subscribe to my channel. That way you guys can see the polls that I do. And I don't do much polls because it's normally just asking you guys what you guys think and your opinions. So I'm super excited to unbox this and show you guys what's new and the comparison video. Oh my gosh, I should do a comparison video for um, Kevin's phone as well and Kevin's other phone. Oh my gosh, I can do so many comparison videos because Kevin has the 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max. So I can do like comparison between those as well. But today I'm going to catch up on your guys' videos because you guys support me so I would love to sit down and actually support you guys too. He's so calm right now and so good. He needs a bath. Maxine. Hi, puppies. Love you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're gonna knock me over. I love you too, puppies. He's hugging me. <laughs> hi. Okay. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> no, don't eat the camera. Okay, come on, sit down. Hello? I said sit. Come here and sit. Come on, sit. What are you doing? I wanted to come on here and talk about a little bit of my journey on social media and everyone already knows that it has not been an easy journey and it takes time. Obviously, I don't know if you guys saw it or if you guys have been here long enough that I did graduate at ASU and I graduated back in 2019 and then I got a part-time job and so I was doing like my part-time job and then I was also doing YouTube on the side and then I lost my job because of the pandemic and then after that, I just went on full-time content creating and and taking my social media a little bit more seriously. It's gotten to where the point I am able to monetize my YouTube channel and my reels on Instagram. So all thanks to you guys who are supporting me all the time and loving that I inspire you guys. And I didn't think that it was going to, I mean, yes, it was a lifelong dream, but I didn't think that the day would come, if that makes sense. I'm super grateful. I have been on here for two, three years now, three and a half years not sure. Anyway, I love inspiring and connecting with everyone on here. It's so amazing. It just makes me feel a little bit better about myself that I am not alone in anything. Social media brings us all together and I just feel very connected with you guys. You guys already know that my birthday is in like two weeks and I don't know, I just wanted to come on here and tell you a little bit, talk to you guys a little bit about content creating and like social media. It is not easy. You guys all know this already because you, some of you are full-time content creators, some of you are part-time content creators, and it is a lot of work. And I am proud of you for getting out of your comfort zone and actually filming yourself. I knew how hard it was for me because I was even voted the most quietest in high school. So be proud of yourself for being where you are today. Even if you have 100 subscribers, even if you have like 10 to 50 subscribers, that's okay. You grew that on your own and you can say that you're proud of yourself for 
I have grown my audience to 3,000 which doesn't sound like a lot but it's a lot to me and I just love you guys and thank you so much for all your sweet comments. I kind of fell off for a few weeks but also because I was waiting for a collaboration and I need to ask for an update on that unlisted right now so I can't really post it until I get their approval. Doesn't matter how many followers you have but if you're able to monetize your content that's amazing because you reached that milestone and honestly it's not all about the money and yes it is nice that you do get paid but you don't get paid a lot a lot obviously unless you have a million subscribers or a million followers I'm pretty sure we don't get paid that much but I am grateful that I get to live at home still and I am still creating content and also getting the multiple streams of income like from YouTube my affiliate links and reels as well but I just wanted you guys to know that there are cons to that because you only get paid like once a month or like here and there whenever someone purchases something and I'm not saying it's a bad thing it's just like you don't know when your income is going to be there if you even reach that I know that YouTube reached that hundred dollar threshold or if you guys change it I think that's the same with reels as well and I think that's the same for a lot of things I'm super grateful and thankful where I am in life right now because honestly I didn't think that I was going to be able to open and start my own Amazon storefront like that's so crazy to me like I get commission from that too thank you guys for supporting me from my affiliate links and honestly it just supports everything that I'm doing right now and me being able to sit here and create content for you guys just amazing and I know I keep looking away because I keep trying to figure out the lighting the lighting keeps changing on my camera for no reason I don't know why that's a little bit what I wanted to talk about my content creating journey and I'm just super grateful on where I am today and I wanted to be a little bit real and raw with you guys and some days I do fall off because you guys already know it's always go 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 like there's always a new trend every single day there's always new content that you could be creating every single day and sometimes it gets the best of us you get burnt out very easily but I'm trying not to get burnt out and I got burnt out a few weeks ago because I was always like go 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 and I never present with anyone because even when I'm with like Kevin's family I'm either taking a nap or I'm thinking of the next thing I want to film oh I could be editing and you guys already know how hard that is. <laughs> Some days are better than others trying to be more present in what I do in life and I know that with Rex like being a puppy also I need to give him attention too which is also a little bit hard because I want to sit down and edit and he wants to play and he's like trying to nip at my feet or something <laughs> because he wants to play with me. So I'll like take him outside and then come back and then I lose that motivation and I need to stop doing that but today I have a little bit more motivation because I have my Alani new so that is another reason why I have a little bit more energy. That's a little backstory and update for you guys of like my content creating. Stay hydrated. I need to upload these clips that I just can't fix why the lighting keeps changing. It's cloudy outside and then it goes sunny and it just keeps switching it up. I'm gonna finish supporting you guys and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Why are you moving? Do you like that tattoo with your shoulder? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the only reason why I downloaded Roblox. Now she's okay play with me. I have 10 out of 11 letters. I miss you. Oh no, how am I supposed to do this? Oh my gosh. Okay, so a little bit later, I did a little bit of Roblox and then we went to Chipotle and Kevin's friend got us some food because he works there and that was really nice of him. And now I'm getting ready for the gym because my friend is going to the gym and we want to make ourselves accountable for going. So I might film, I might not. We'll see what happens. I might film on my phone because I'm not going to bring my camera. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Staring out the window, reaching for a North Star. To the limbo, stuck here in the middle. You tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. But if we oh, what is it? What is it? Yeah, uh, uh, uh. sit. 
I know. I know. Sit. I got you a little Halloween toy. It's a little werewolf thing. It's a werewolf scarecrow. Stop it. There's your new toy. You're welcome. I got you a Halloween toy. You're so excited.